Oh, thankfully, I think I've been able to make a fairly acceptable repair to the damaged plastic metal thread. And um, I've got a helicoil in there. And the hole was a horrible shape. It was anything but round. But obviously I needed to enlarge it a little to accept the uh, helicoil insert. So it had to have a drill run through it. And then it had to have the uh, tap screwed in to tap out a thread for the helicoil. And I thought anything could go wrong here with the uh, hole being out of shape. And obviously there's a bit of a breakthrough there. The drill will try and wander off centre and so will the tap. But um, obviously I used the old steel sump plate fastened back on. And I was able to use the stud hole in it as a guide for the drill. And then the tap, and I kept it in place while I inserted the helicoil. And uh, as luck would have it, it's actually worked. The only thing that I'll have to do is probably cut the bolt a little bit shorter as required so that it can uh, pull up tight against the face of the sump plate and fasten it down tightly. But uh, we've got a strong thread there again now. So um, I'm happy with that. That's... Uh, well, avoided the unthinkable, shall we say, and it's a pretty sound fix as well, so I'm happy with that. Just to add to uh, my description of how I attended to this stripped, horrible, broken, bodged thread that was stuffed full of plastic metal and split and out of shape and everything, and I managed to helicoil it. I've now got one Allen bolt in the repaired hole only and I've got it tight and the sump plate is held tightly just by that on its own so uh, I know that that's holding tightly enough and it's a very satisfactory repair and uh, I'll put the other screws in and I can move on to the next stage of this rebuild at last.